Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is going to work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to, bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Oh. Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Tend to the- what? Can't we just start over and start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But- uh, Coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Someday you are going to move. You will have to learn. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. <laughs> You're going to find out. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. And you will look at all. I don't. Yes, my son. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. He will. You're going to find out. We... Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Someday you have children and you will look at all. I don't. I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. When you get older, I don't my hopes. Ah, halfway there. Damn it! Keep up the good work. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Stop being such a crank! Your ancestors are spinning in their graves right now. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? The Van Brons have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to man, Emmett. Come down, come down. You don't get to control my life just because you've fed and clothed me for 17 years. Don't burn your bridges so cavalier. Almost there. Emmet! Uh, coming, father! If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! 
This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, Father. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Why must you always scatter a condescension my way? Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas! What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! How many times do I have, do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... What? Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you wanna test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the Patent Office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you. But I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start! supposed to be duck they're moving him to another facility for safekeeping oh I better go get a quote from the police chief paddy wagon intercepted suspect slain and they're still after him but how am I gonna rescue him now Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. All right, I'm coming, Doc.
danger, Doc. I've got to get you out of here. Well, stop. I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here, and we'll talk later. What's he doing here? Keys. How do I get him? Kid Tannen's driving the truck. Kid Tannen? That explains a lot. Doc, I'll get you out. Be careful, buddy. Keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. You need a protraction of pertinence. What? A reach extender. I'll be back. I'll wait right here. Distraction. Leave it to me! Hey, hey driver! Don't drive me too fast! What? That's how you take those curves! What are you trying to do? I object to your tone of voice! And I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable! Do you have a pillow I can sit on? Hey! I'm talking to you, driver! Don't ignore me! You! Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. Taken. Ow! Son of a bitch! Okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. 
Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. <laughs> 